Hello, uh, welcome to my latest video. As you can see this time it's a uh, turkey vulture. Um, and also, like last time, there's going to be two versions. This one, which is more in depth, where I explain all the techniques. And in a few days I'll release another one, which is just pure time lapse, without any commentary. So if you just want to see the painting zip by, maybe that one's a better video for you. So, um, please uh, like and subscribe, it really helps out. and. Check out the links in the description, there's all sorts of places to go, and uh, see you later. The first thing that needs to be done is to spray the background. I'm um, using a sheet of acetate here that I've pre-cut out to the silhouette of the bird and it's just taking a little while to get it perfectly lined up although to be honest it could be slightly off and it won't matter really when you see the next stage just testing the uh, airbrush working there what I'm after here is a, a near black background but instead of just putting black into the airbrush and spraying I'm going to use a variety of colors and slowly get darker and darker this will uh, stop the background looking flat and give it a bit of life I'm now taking a very sharp scalpel, brand new straight out of the packet, and uh, cleaning up this silhouette. It was uh, difficult to get the precise shape with cutting it on the acetate, so uh, I just got the the main shape and. With the scalpel, I'm basically putting the, the finer detail in. Where I'm scratching now is uh, probably outside the image area, but it's good to have a, a good border so when you come to cut the mat you've got some leeway to move it around. All round this uh, vulture's heads are hundreds of uh, little fluffy feathers. These would have been completely impossible to cut out but uh, quite easy with the scalpel to scratch into the background. They're not going to end up white like this as I will sp spray over them to push them back into the background. Now the task is to uh, get the uh, main background colour of the bird sprayed in. The bird is um, 
a little bit bluer than the background. The background I've given it a slight brown colour to contrast with the uh, blue of the bird so you can really tell the difference between the dark of the bird and the dark of the background. And here the uh, first thing I'm doing is to push all those little feathers back because they're a sort of mid grey colour rather than white. The acrylic I'm using here is semi-transparent so it will affect the background a bit but not too much. The one area I don't want spraying is this beak. It's quite a different colour to everything else, so I don't want it contaminated with the blue, the bluish black. Now I'm going to do pretty much the same as the first time round, scratching in the details. I've never used a scraper board but I imagine this is very similar. And it uh, takes the heavy surface of the clay board that allows you to do this. The, the surface I would very much prefer is a CS10 line board. But unfortunately that's long since uh, gone out of manufacture. And modern day line boards just don't seem good enough. Their uh, clay surface just isn't deep enough uh, when you scratch and get right down to the furry stuff very quickly. So this clay board is uh, the closest uh, I can get. Unless anyone in the comments knows any difference, I'd love to uh, find a, a board that's like the old CS10.
Here I'm using an erasure instead of the scalpel. It does a similar job to the scalpel, i.e. removes the paint, but without a harsh edge like the scalpel. Plus uh, the areas I've used the scalpel, you can go over the, with this erasure. It's a quite a hard erasure used for pen. And uh, it just softens it, it up and gives starts to give the, the background a, a bit of a texture. Right, you can see here I'm using a, a different sort of erasure. It's one that's uh, got a little cin cylinder of er erasing material in a pen. The pen sort of keeps it in place and makes it very convenient and I'm uh, just rubbing away at the the paint to uh, kind of carve into it these sort of slightly blurry areas on the bird. You can just see here I'm using an electric eraser just to see if it can do a better job but I keep trying but it doesn't really. I think the, the little pen one works much better. And now back to the scalpel scratching out the larger feathers on the bird's body. Right now to uh, cover up all the scratches with uh, another spray job. Most of these scratch feathers will be very faint in the final painting. And now I'm back in with uh, scratching the feathers that are lightest. And now back again with the airbrush to stop these uh, feathers looking too white. This is the, the main technique at this stage, it's just 
you scratch the detail in and then you push it back with the airbrush and scratch again push it back with the airbrush and, and you build up the layers like this and it adds real depth to the painting Right, back to the, uh, the mask of the beak and uh, this mask has got a little bit at the top that I no longer need so I'm just drawing on the mask to see where I want to cut it The bird's head is uh, very pink, so with my newly cut mask, I'm going to give give the head its background spraying. It's the same process for the head after the initial spraying um, in there sculpting out the detail with erasures and scalpels. I'm now getting into the final details and with this I'll be using colour pencils. This uh, clay board doesn't have much of a tooth for the um, colour pencils to bite into but spraying the acrylics over it does help and uh, if you run out of tooth with the colour pencils you can always uh, spray a little bit of it and that brings it all back. Here I'm just flicking the pencil to simulate uh, these little long 
I want to call them hairs, but because they look like hairs, but I know they're feathers. Right, signature on, so that must be it. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll uh, see you on the next video. Goodbye.